Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here, and I thought this was an interesting topic. It may not be for everybody, but if I find it interesting, I'm betting at least a couple of my viewers would find it interesting as well. So I'm going through Gaming on Linux News, and I see there's a new version of GE Proton 8-27 that has various game fixes. So GE Proton is an unofficial version of Proton you can install on your Steam Deck that will allow you to do certain things like watch videos that the official version of Proton aren't able to display or to um, fix certain games or improve compatibility or functionality of certain games. So I'm sitting here going through the list, which uh, I do when I see these sort of things. And I notice one of my favorite games, Renegade Ops, has been added as a game fix to Proton GE Proton 8-27. Now, if this game name sounds familiar, Renegade Ops, I'm a huge fan. And in fact, I put a video together on Renegade Ops showing you exactly how to do it using Proton Tricks to inject a particular DLL into the Proton Prefix that would make the game work. So I was very curious about this. And so I usually keep the latest version of GE Proton already on board, and I think a lot of people probably do. That being the case, I could essentially get Renegade Ops gameplay for free. So anybody out there who happens to be running GE Proton 827 can now play Renegade Ops just by using that compatibility layer. So I went ahead and posted that on Reddit that this was available, and somebody let me know that um, there's a trick to this. There's a whole uh, there's a whole thing about how Proton Tricks sort of works inside of GE Proton. And I found this sort of fascinating. So I thought I would share this with you. So if we go and look up Renegade Ops, uh, the Renegade Ops uh, app ID, 99300, right? That's a nice easy one to remember for a change. This is on the steamdb.info. If we have that number, we can peel some of the layers back and take a look at how GE Proton is able to perform this very valuable service for us. So I am going to now flip over to my file browser and I am SSH'd over to my deck. So I have very key features of my deck or folders on my deck mapped to drive letters on Windows. This is the only way to do this, folks, I'm telling you. If you don't already have SSHFS set up, you wanna do that. So here inside of local share steam compatibility tools.d, is the versions of Protons that are installed on my Steam Deck, and 8-27 has now been added. So if I were to dig in there, there's all sorts of stuff that, you know, nobody's going to really pay attention to. We don't really know what's going on, nor do you really need to know for the purposes of this video. But there is a folder called Proton Fixes. We're going to go in there, and inside of there appears to be some sort of a, a Steam Helper app, a Wine Tricks, Proton... Uh, tricks type scenario. But if we dig into game fixes, here's where the really interesting stuff starts. So if you go in here, you'll see a whole bunch, I mean a lot, a lot of numbered Python files, basically little Python scripts, apparently, that help you with games with that app ID. Now we said that ours was 99300, right? And there it is. If we bring that up in a in a uh, viewer, I could actually see what I was doing. So this is the game fix for Renegade Ops. Essentially, we're using the utility Proton Tricks to inject this Direct3D compiler 4.7. And this is, as noted here, the fix to the black screen issue. So there's not, there's really not magic involved here, right? So GE Proton, it's like, oh, it's magic, ooh. It is, but it isn't. So behind the scenes for a bunch of these different games, and we can scroll through these that uh, show that they uh, do a wine DLL override. That's a very common Steam launcher command to get certain games working. In this case, uh, it removes the Windows Live folder and does some other uh, interesting stuff. So if you sit here, and I did, I sat here for like 20 minutes just kind of digging through here. This is another one, very simple. Alan Wake needed the Direct3D Compiler 4.7 installed. So there, it's all right here. This is, you know, we pulled the curtain back to see the wizard behind the curtain. And GE Proton does do amazing things. It gives us, if you remember, um, looking at the uh, release notes, um, 
you know, b basically it updates wine to the bleeding edge, the new DXVK to, you know, to the latest versions. We have all sorts of bleeding edge changes brought into GE uh, Proton. But I think some of the magic, and I think this is, you know, again, sort of the magic behind the curtain, uh, are these, I guess, game patches or game fixes. And honestly, if you know what this means, which I do, there are several games that I have to do some sort of uh, some sort of a, a push into a particular Proton prefix in order to get games to work. With this armed with the game ID, now this wouldn't obviously work for non-Steam games, of course, right? Because you have to have a Steam ID. But if there is a game that you know works, if you go to Proton Tricks and inject a little something, something, this, this could be a great tool just for the end user to be able to add their own things to. Anyway, I didn't want to make this a long video. I just thought this was really an interesting thing. A little bit of, you know, peek behind the scenes, behind the curtain, how the wizard works. And I thought this was fascinating. Um, and if you want to know more, let me know. If you like these kind of videos, let me know. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, blah, blah, blah. You guys know what to do. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Shane Armonroe. We'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.